Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about a purchase guide. Just like the last video, I created a purchase guide for you. So when I first came to the US, my sister was here in Chicago. She helped me a lot while shopping and after that once Simran came, I helped her out. And then once I moved to Phoenix, I helped myself to purchase a lot of stuff, you know, the stuff you need every day for your bed, which is mattress, a study table, a chair, uh, some shelving for your Almira, some hangers, all of that kind of stuff. When it comes to bathroom, like I didn't know that you needed a shower curtain, those kind of stuff as well. And when it came down to your kitchen, I also had to purchase all the cookware and, you know, forks and knives and everything. And during that time, I didn't know what thing to buy, what not to buy, some things I bought on the more expensive side some things i bought on the cheaper side so this is me kind of sharing with you a sort of a guide on how to purchase things or what you can buy and what you shouldn't be buying while you're coming to the us so this guide is mainly consisting of stuff from walmart walmart is one of the is actually mostly the cheapest place you can buy all of your beddings all of your miscellaneous items for kitchen all of your bedroom and bathroom stuff walmart is the place to go there are some links for amazon as well which i have linked uh if you want to check out this guide right here um you can go in the link in description and download it again you don't have to watch this video but let's just get into it you know it's exciting going through one by one and if i miss anything make sure you comment down below what i missed and i'll try to add it in in another guide or i'll try to do like a supplemental of this guide anyways let's just get started starting with your bedroom or your study room you know bedroom is going to be your study room so for your bedroom the first thing the main thing you need is a mattress there are different types of mattresses i've used a very cheap one like a 90 dollars one i've used one which is which was around 200 bucks at pre-covid times which is now 350 and right now i'm using a zinus mattress which is over $350, but it's a great mattress. I have no complaint. Also, I have to buy queen mattress because I'm a little bit taller. While you're buying your mattress, make sure you buy a mattress of your size. See how tall you are and see if you'll fit in that mattress or not. There's like bunch like twin, twin XL, um, queen, king, because I was planning to buy a twin mattress before, but I knew that twins are going to be small, so I'm not going to fit in that lengthwise. Uh, so I bought a twin xl mattress and then once i got some more money once i moved from to phoenix i bought a queen mattress so here is a guide for that and uh, in the guide there is a guide as well on what mattress size is what and they are called different so you need to make sure that you buy the sheets for the mattress which you're buying like if you're buying a queen mattress make sure you buy a fitted sheet for the queen mattress mattress could be varying you know usually some people buy second hand mattress as well the first, um, the, the, the first and the only catch with buying a second-hand mattress is that there could be bed bugs in it. A lot of or most of the times there is not. But there could be. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to link a bed bug spray which you can um, order from Amazon and spray it all over. In case there is like some bed bugs in there, you make sure that they are gone. By the way, do not buy a mattress from anyone who you do not know. Make sure you buy a mattress from some friend of yours, a senior of yours, or somebody who stays clean. Go to their apartment, check if they're staying clean or not. But uh, you can also go for an air mattress. I wouldn't really recommend it. I've seen people sleeping in sleeping bags for a while. I wouldn't really recommend it because, you know, you're sleeping on the floor, basically. Uh, air mattress is a bit nicer. It's only like 10 bucks, and you have to buy air pump, which is another $10. Um, but I would really recommend for your peace of mind to buy a nice like $100 mattress at, at least. Just buy the mattress. You don't have to buy a box or a um, or like a frame or anything. Just buy a mattress, put some sheet in on the bottom of the carpet and just put the mattress and call it a day. It's going to change your life. Coming to sheets, there are two types of sheets. Um, sheep, sheets, I mean bed sheets. Um, there are two types of sheets, fitted and flat. Go with the fitted one, it's going to make your life easier. Flat sheets are going to be a little bit cheaper, but fitted sheets are going to stay on your mattress for a long time. So buy that. 
um, they're not going to be much six seven eight dollars maximum uh, pillow and pillow cases walmart has this thing called uh, back to school sale every august every fall when students are going back to the university they have this sale and during that time they have these pillows which are only like two and a half dollars or so which is crazy cheap but those pillows are not as nice you know i still have those pillows but you can buy that pillow and it's buy two of those so that you can support yourself and put it behind your back just just a recommendation pillow covers as well if you're getting some from india that's well and good if you're not you can get uh get some here for really really good price um blankets i'm sure you wouldn't be getting any blankets uh most of the everywhere there is going to be ac a lot of states you know in the north um and northwest and northeast are going to be cold so you would need a nice blanket uh you can find some good blankets in walmart again check the size if it's queen or king or twin xl and make sure if you're planning to get a set there are some sets also bedroom sets with like flat sheet and fitted sheets and pillow covers and all of that stuff for like 30 dollars which is a great deal honestly if you ask your mom how much these things cost she'll say like oh for 2000 rupees that's a great deal so get that if you can uh, just make sure the size fits all study table i would recommend you to look at facebook market marketplace i'm not sure if facebook marketplace is in india yet or not but in the us facebook marketplace is like you know ebay or uh, olx you can go there people post stuff all the time there and uh, you can buy stuff i got my chair for five dollars from there uh table i bought from walmart for 30 bucks or so but i've linked some great tables which are like starting with 25 dollars in case you can get by without a table for a while get by without a table and then when somebody's leaving you know just buy their table um second hand but it's it's not going to be that much uh chair buy a second hand chair chair can be really expensive i think the cheapest chair which i could find was a folding chair which was 12 or 15 dollars or so but they're not as comfortable um, they're just folding chair you fold it and you sit on it and it's hard and not comfortable i got a great deal while i was buying a chair it was like five dollars for a chair and i carried it over one and a half miles i have a picture of it i'll post it right here um, but you should get a chair second hand if you can because people are always replacing stuff with a new one um, so they are selling chairs all the time one more thing a lot of universities have this they have like this um, uh, second hand store since universities have tables and chairs and almiras and all these kind of furnitures they're always trying to replace it and get the newest ones so when they're replacing it rather than throwing it away they have the store which they sell stuff at and you can get uh, get things for pretty reasonable price there as well another one would be cloth hangers walmart has this great cloth hangers deal i think it's like two dollars for 18 hangers you wouldn't find a better deal than that my closet is right here you can't see right now but my closet is right here and i think i have 40 of those hangers or at least at least 40 minimum 40 i'm sure more than that but they're just so cheap even if you break it it doesn't hurt you that much so you just buy another one um coming to extension cord or power strip there's a trick of mine which i followed when i come first came here i got one uh adapter like a international adapter you know because our plugs are for indian outlets and you have us outlets here so i got one extension like one um, international adapter and one extension cord from india itself so because my phone charger was from india my uh, com my la camera charger was from india my laptop charger was from india that time so i used to just plug it in into the indian plugs and they would work just fine but in if you're planning to buy a laptop from your and a phone from here which you should definitely just because the prices are great and the quality i can honestly tell you the quality is better here i can i can vouch for that i've seen people macbook screens bleeding when they're buying it from india and it's not happening here i don't know what it is but it's just the quality is better so buy buy a power strip from here i think a power strip like a extension cord would be four dollars or something 
uh, lights is another big one when you come to the us there's not going to be lights in your apartment uh, it's going to be a dark night the first night can be scary as well but you will have a light in kitchen and your hallway and your one of the halls uh, in some cases there's going to be light if you're living in like a big multi story apartment of course but if you're living in a like small apartment complexes there might be a case where there there's not going to be lights so i've linked some lights as well i think they are cost like $8 um and you can get some four bulb set total it's going to be $10 for one light there's a light which i've linked um which has a lamp as well so you don't have to buy a desk lamp separately my next point is desk lamp so desk lamp is usually $5 and i don't think you can get cheaper than that so if somebody's selling it for $5 they're ripping you off uh cuz you can buy it in walmart from $5 um you can get a desk lamp plus that light that's fine as well if you want more light in your room you can buy two of those uh they are not as crazy expensive as you think um additional storage you know sometimes almiras don't have enough shelf or you're sharing the room with somebody and you need additional storage because you have snacks that you want to keep in your bedroom in that case um you can buy this like plastic shelving unit i have one right here um it's just like a stir light unit it's 12 or 14 bucks but it is sturdy you can sell it and sometimes you can find it on facebook marketplace for 5 dollars so that's that's definitely a great deal uh fans and heater now the reason why i mentioned fans and heaters because we want to save energy ac you don't want to run it because electricity is bills going to hurt you i think i got a electricity bill of 150 dollars last month which was insane but it is what it is um so get a fan if it's hot in your states and get a heater like a small room heater the heater which i've linked i've used it extensively in two places it has kept me warm so well and it's like such a small heater only like 14 12 14 bucks but when it when it is getting cold that's when you get the heater i prefer that heater because so this way i wouldn't have to like switch on the whole apartment heater if i'm the only one in the apartment so try that now coming to the bathroom so bathroom is usually bathrooms would have like either a shower pan or a bathtub and they have wooden flooring in bathrooms that is weird sometimes they do have tiles but you don't want your whole bathroom to be wet um so you get a bathroom curtain or a shower curtain it's called a shower curtain a lot of apartments will tell you like hey get a shower curtain they're really inexpensive like 4 dollars so that's 300 rupees and the hooks for those things are a dollar so that's 5 or 6 dollars for the shower curtain get it it's going to save your life it's going to it's going to just avoid a lot of water in your bathroom at all times uh get a bathroom rug or a mat a a cheap one would cost you $8 but i have a hack for it so a lot of times um in walmart i think you can find small towels for 2 to 4 bucks maximum $4 $3 maximum in that case just use that as a bathroom mat you know we are cutting corners here we are we are students we are international students we are trying to make make the best out of the time we have in in the cheapest way possible so use that uh towel as a bathroom mat that's fine nobody is going to judge you i'm telling you shower caddy is one of the things if you're sharing your bathroom with a bunch of people and you don't want them to use your soap or uh shower gel or something else then you have a shower caddy you i've linked a shower caddy i think it's like 5 6 dollars um get that and store everything nice and neat and you can store it separately uh otherwise if you are the only one who's using your bathroom keep stuff on the sink and next to the bathtub nobody gives a shit that's what i did um laundry basket is another one if you you know you would have to do laundry you no know, the auntie who does your laundry or the bhaiya who does your laundry is not going to come here you'll have to go to the washing machine put in the money and into the dryer and do laundry um uh, get a nice laundry basket i have gone for the cheaper one which just like folds open but if you have a lot of clothes it wouldn't survive so you need a nicer one i've i've linked two or three of them just check once it's a uh, 6 to 7 dollars or maximum 8 dollars for a nice laundry basket i think the fanciest one i've ever bought which i bought after 
after I got a job was like twenty dollars, and that one is pretty amazing. I bought it from Costco. Moving on to the kitchen, the heart of the apartment. It's not going to be clean if you are living with a lot of guys. Just get over it. I'm telling you right now, and uh, the quicker you get over it, the better it will be for you. Anyways, the kitchen. You're going to have cooking pans. Uh, for cooking pans, I've linked three of my options. One is from two is from Walmart. One is from Amazon Basics. The one I use right now is a little bit fancier one. It's like hundred bucks for three pans and six pots or something. But you know, now I have the money. Um, anyways, not being douchey at all. Worked a lot. Worked really hard for it. So, anyways. um there are some cheaper pots and pans which you can get let me quickly look up in the document right now so the first set which i've linked is like a three pot one pan set it's only 15 dollars the second one which i've recommended is like uh two pans and four pots it's 30 dollars a little bit expensive but you're getting more pans and pots the third one which i got after i moved to phoenix because again new job uh was the t fal one and that was 70 bucks but it had bunch of pots and bunch of pans and uh, also ladles so that was great and it lasted really well um the non stick capability was great and all of that stuff uh, another cheap option is one of the amazon cookware if you have a lot of person like at least if you have four people get the amazon one because it's uh, it's a bunch of a lot of pots and pans with ladles and it has 30000 reviews and it's a amazon basics one so the quality will be there and uh, i have the link that that's 52 dollars but if you have four people that's going to come at like 10 dollars a person or 12 dollars a person which is not as bad coming to ladles and spoons uh a ladle or ladles and spatulas you know to cook stuff get some stuff from india i bought the first wooden spatulas from india but then i saw it here which was only 5 dollars for five of them so that was good get that if you can The second thing you can get get is like a ladle to you know take out curry or any kind of dal you're making. Um, get that from a dollar store if you can. Dollar store is great, but sometimes dollar store stuff is more expensive than Walmart. So I would recommend you to go to Walmart first, then dollar store because Walmart's quality would be much better than dollar store. Period. Spoons and forks. If you're getting like two spoons and two forks, that's great. But a set of four spoons is going to be a dollar a set of four forks is going to be a dollar and a set of four butter knife is going to be a dollar at walmart again but make sure you look around there's like this big shelf at walmart which has all of these things in one line get it from there coffee mug is important just get a 1 dollar coffee mug from dollar store or if you see something at walmart get like one or two just in case you don't have to wash it every time you want to use it um Another thing would be a travel mug or a tumbler or a coffee tumbler. You know, if you're a fanatic like me who loves coffee, you would would want to save money. You don't want to spend too much money when you're going to the university and buying coffee at all times from Starbucks. It's fine to buy things from Starbucks. I'm not saying that. I do that often as well to pick myself up or to feel like, oh, I spent some money today, and it hurts when you spend like two and a half dollars for a thirty cents coffee. but sometimes you do that so get a get a coffee tumbler it's like $4 for a small one get a nice one $10 i think belt one is there's a company called belt b u i l t uh that's $10 you can buy that that's great as well i'm I, i'm still using it the one i bought in phoenix or no the one i bought in uh at pdu that's the one i have right now it's it they just last a long time all right Another one would be Tupperware. If you are making a lot of food, since you are an international student and you have work, you are going to store that food somewhere, right? So you need Tupperwares. Tupperwares are very inexpensive. I think the cheapest one would be like four dollars for four containers or five dollars for five containers. So just look at the cheapest one. Rubber Made is one good company, and Mainstays is another one. I prefer the Rubber Made ones because they are more, they are little bit pricier than the uh, Mainstays one, but better quality okay uh, a spoon knife and fork organizer there's these wooden things which come um, at walmart uh, you can buy that so that when you're cleaning it up and keeping it things organized in your apartment it's just going to look nice in a drawer buy that 
Brita would be another one. Brita is a type of jug which has water filter in there. So, fun fact in the US, you can drink tap water, it's completely safe. But there are some states and some cities where the water doesn't taste as good, and that's where Brita comes in. You put the fill water in Brita, it filters it out and gives you fresh water. Um, a Brita jug is $15. It's a little pricey, but it's totally worth it. And if you have more, more people, get the bigger Brita chug. I have stopped using Brita. I drank tap water while I was in Purdue. And then I drank tap water mostly while I was in Rhode Island as well. And then I drink tap water while I was in Arizona and Phoenix as well. But then we started buying bottles from Costco, which took up a lot of plastic. So it was no bueno. Anyways, I'm just saying, you know, buy a Brita. It's going to be good for you. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you liked it. If I said something really quickly, everything's going to be in the guide. Make sure you download it and check it out. Thank you everyone. Uh, uh, appreciate you watching. You know, welcome to the US. I know a lot of people are coming in now. It's, it's going to be exciting time. First trip to Walmart is something which I would never forget. It's like, I love supermarkets and you know, it's like a, you left a a kid in an amusement park. And I've made videos on Walmart as well. I'll share that videos with you. But it's always a pleasure to go to Walmart. Even now I get excited. Even though I have almost whatever I wanted to live comfortably. But I still get excited about it. Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching this one. I hope you like it. Check out Gradical. I'm going to leave everything in the description. And uh, take it easy. Take care. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.